Hello Collective. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribe. I truly appreciate them all. You guys, let's tap in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages may or may not resonate with you. Take the messages that resonate with you, your personal situations, and leave the rest. Okay. So the delays could be over. Somebody's not no longer stuck or delayed in a situation. What's the overall energy here? The emperor in the reverse. Feels like this is not fair. Okay. Somebody that was abusing their power here. Plans backfired. Contract in the ether. Somebody plans backfired. Okay. So somebody could be trying to currently trying to reverse something or uh and it backfired on them um somebody wasn't done with you yet or some shit like that whoever this is is an emperor in the reverse this could be a false twin flame or a false divine masculine or something like that their contract with you is over their plans backfired so return to sender this is good times that something is finally over when it comes to this past life soulmate they was trying to get a rebirth with you, Empress. I feel like the reason behind someone wanting to reconcile with you brought the attention to the your ethers or the ancestors or God himself. And they could be shocked, like, how power hungry somebody was to even try to go in a new direction. Like, like what are you doing, energy? Uh, like, this person could have been really, is really, like, animate about staying in your energy, but they don't, they don't have no grounds to stand on. Okay. Yeah. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. What is a mess here, Joe? Emperor in the reverse. Somebody, a false masculine. Emperor in the reverse. Who the Emperor in the reverse? We have clarity. And it's made somebody sick. Maybe somebody has clarity. All right. Because something has been approved for you. And somebody could be sick or depressed. Because you're going to get a return on your investment. A main male. That could have been an official. Or thought they was the official person. Has gloomy thoughts. Okay. Um. Yeah. Whatever you have in clarity. Has brought in somebody some depression. Or something. They could be sad. They could be crying. There could be. Uh, yeah. Alright. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. It's clean up time. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. What is the message here? Yeah. Somebody was trying to use gadgets and technology with wisdom. It's clean up time. message holy spirit divine spirit what is the message what is the message what is the message for the collective what do you need to know what you need to be aware of the power of three knows that after sadness happiness and hope is returning to you all right yeah you haven't you're about to have some powerful personal growth or uh yeah you could be about to have some powerful personal growth here okay you could have been sad for a second about something, but yeah, your life is sweet. Wow. Well, yeah. Your life is sweet. Aloha healing. Like kind of energy. You're going to be able to heal your heart or heal from something. Mending from heart mending your heart from heartbreak or something like that. I feel like um your life is sweet. Like don't worry, you're going to be able to heal from something. Cause you took some action at the right time. The time has come, the time to act is now, yeah. When it came to casting somebody out, somebody could be feeling abandoned. Somebody could be feeling left out. Somebody could be feeling like just thrown away or not. a Yeah, something like that. Uh, huh. November the 23rd could be significant here. 
All right, somebody feels abandoned right now, okay? You are achieving great things because you won't let fear stop you. Somebody had a distorted view that this beast energy was going to be able to stick around when you need some space in this situation. It's time for somebody to be brave that was trying, that was using gadgets and technology to do something or whatever this is. So it's time for them to be brave, all right? Or because you figured something out. Somebody could also induced this blockage or induce some you to cut somebody out your life it could be your ancestors or um maybe they got ops on their end that didn't want somebody to have something but the, you seen clearly that somebody was abusing their power or they were power hungry or you knew this person wasn't your emperor or you yeah something like that something about somebody not being your emperor okay Maybe somebody wanted to be, maybe you've seen this person as a false twin, okay? Uh, and you, yeah, and maybe somebody's like realizing that now. Challenges, yeah, it's going to be too challenging to come back into your energy as well. They're expecting a lot of challenges ahead for somebody here. Whatever this is, somebody's expecting challenges to happen for them. Yeah, someone was in the middle trying to sabotage this person. Yeah, and they're not even going to say nothing that they sabotage their opportunities or something like that. Mm. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Wow, okay. Something was short-lived because somebody was being guided here to sever ties with somebody. Let's see. Holy Spirit. Yeah, no, it's not the right time. Somebody could be rem reminiscing about something. They're expecting a breakup. What else? They was expecting a breakup. Okay. Yeah, we got to let go. Yeah, your guardian angels could have told you to let go of somebody. Because they could have been blocking manifestations or something like that. Or somebody uh, wasn't able to tell the universe what they wanted. All right, maybe whatever they wanted, they got to know. Yeah, something, there was communication issues. Something was up for review now. Somebody's trying to figure out something. A fire sign could be trying to figure themselves out on why there was distance between you and them. There's a cycle that could have came to an end of somebody trying to sabotage something. An earth sign could have wanted to work something out, but they was expecting... They're expecting for somebody to have bad finances now or them to have bad finances because they thought they was going to be able to work something out with you or what? You putting distance between yourself and someone is ensuring that you're going to be okay financially. I don't know if somebody was connected to your finances in some way, y'all, but you're good on that end if you're worried about that. Maybe y'all just broke up with somebody. Yeah, somebody is digging up dirt now on something. Whoever this con artist is. A spiritual charlatan. <laughs> That's what they, they're calling this person. All right. They thought that something would be impossible, but they're playing the victim now. Okay. Somebody could be like really sad or something. Because you have made your mind up. It's set in stone. on what's going on. Lost loved one is watching over you. Let go of reminiscing about someone because it's not the right time. It wouldn't even last at this time because it's Mercury retrograde. 
A lost loved one is watching over you. Mm. Yeah, because somebody is going overboard. They're really hyped. They're upset. Yeah. Because <laughs> somebody is really in their feelings that you let them go or you cut them out, your energy, or something like that. Yeah, whoever this is, their karmic connection, they had to go. Yeah. So this person, something was supposed to be short-lived. It was only up for review, and you made the right decision. And this person is hella in, in their feelings because you know they you know you have clarity that they are a karmic. Okay. It's kind of like somebody gave it away. They they somebody pay attention to words or pay attention to conversations. Maybe y'all had a conversation with somebody and they may have said something to you they thought that you wasn't paying attention to or something like that. And he was listening. Or they may have done something. And you're like, yeah, no, you're not my person at all. Yeah, sweet talker in the reverse. So, yeah. This person is a karmic. <laughs> and they need to go head on with themselves. So that contract is over. Tinder swindler in the reverse. Yeah. They can't even say, oh, it's because you, you acting or you putting on a show or you high maintenance. They can't even say that. <laughs> They just know that you know that they're not supposed to be there. This person had didn't like you or they don't have love for you at all. They'd rather see you fucked up or whatever. This is even if somebody you are encouraging to be their best selves and stuff. They would never, they wouldn't dare say something like that to you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So it's an unequal exchange emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally, everything. Like you wishing good for somebody and they wishing the worst for you. Like, it's like literally one of those type of people that only want to be in your life hoping for your downfall. But yet you are bringing them up spiritually or encouraging them to be their best versions of themselves. Like, well, that's not equal. So they can, you know, go ahead on with their life. Tender swindler in the reverse. They couldn't swindle you. They couldn't fake something with you. This karmic connection. Karmic connection here. So this person, they couldn't fake something with you. We got idealistic, respected, and admired. They were very irresponsible with you, whoever you are, boss bay, whatever this is. You could be sitting on a pedal stool here. Somebody was very careless about something here. And I feel like you're going to be able to toast to your celebra or toast to your wins or ignore or because because you acknowledged why somebody was running back to you, <laughs> an arch nemesis, a frenemy that is being alarmed right now. They're messed up or upset because you are having a new beginning and they can't talk shit at all about you in no way, shape or form. This person should have showed you more respect or something. Maybe this person was very disrespectful. This person wanted to prolong some bullshit. This person that thinks logically without emotion. Prolong emotional, or physical, or mental stress. That's what they wanted for you. That's why somebody could have been accusing you of hiding something here. Homelessness. They could have been hiding that they were homeless. Mom's the word. This person needs to take several seats because they was only longing for you to put water under the bridge because they wanted to, I guess, use your energy for something. Yeah, because I just cut to the black sheet. Like, this is somebody that could have really talked really bad about you. Like, whatever point this is, y'all, in y'all life. So this is like a friend, maybe a friend. It is Mercury retrograde. Came back around to y'all. Somebody could have saw a hell of shit about y'all. And now, you know, you could be moving on or something. They yeah, are letting go. Making room for the new. Financially using you. You're letting go of somebody that was smoking mirrors trying to financially use you. They didn't see this coming. Yeah. They tried to blind you. 
from what they wanted from you. Yeah, why they wanted to be your alliance. Them and their alliances could also be triggered or feeling intimidated because you let this person go. Yeah, because they was trying to cock block you. So they used somebody as clickbait. And everybody got to take several seats. Them and they fake friends. That's not too emotionally intelligent. Okay. People are very strange. <laughs> but you figured this something. You figured something out collective. So that's a good thing. They were in union with fake friends and people that wanted to hurt you in some way. And we got somebody digging up dirt. Now their alliances is digging up dirt because the evil eye, they put a spell on you, but you was protected. This per these people was wishing ill will on you, them and somebody that you cut off. You're protected here. Somebody also could be trying to figure out who is cursing them. Because they. It, it seems like whoever this individual is, um, it's backfiring on them. If they working with somebody, confirmation. If they working with somebody to put the evil eye on you, baby, it's backfire on them like crazy. Confirmation. <laughs> like this motherfucker, they wish they they gonna wish they never did that. Cause they was wishing ill will on you. And now they digging up dirt. Like, why would they allies try to blind somebody smoking mirrors or, or something like that? They didn't see that something was the only an illusion or they told them that you wouldn't see that they only trying to use you for finances or some shit like that. Now they're mad. Whoever this energy vampire is, is now cursed or something. Yeah, they know they got to let this shit go. They got to let go. And they're bitter. This is a bitter pair to pill to swallow for this, this person. Because in order, uh, you had to fix something. All right, this person might want to fix something now that they are cursed. Okay, they're bitter as hell, but they got to accept it. It is what it is. The fuck? It wasn't love. Like somebody didn't love you. They just want to use you or hurt you or something. And it's backfiring on them. Oh, well, we got intimacy and chemistry. What about the intimacy and chemistry? Intimacy and chemistry. Yeah, with whoever you are. Black sheep. They all laughed at you. But now they all need your help. Outsiders, loner, and game changer. So somebody could be reminiscing about you like the black sheep. And now they're intimidated because unresponsive. You're not talking to someone at all. Okay? Stranger danger. I feel like you're not isolating yourself anymore either. You're just not talking to somebody at all. Okay? This is a toxic lover here. That's stranger danger. Okay? Let me put it here. A stranger danger. Yeah. You could have spoke some truth here about them or they know what's going on. Stranger danger. This person could be stalking you online. Controlling. This person is very controlling. They wanted to control a divine feminine. They wanted control over you, divine feminine. The toxic key to your mind. That's what they wanted. And you don't have a toxic key to your mind. <laughs> This person could be watching your every move. So, controlling. This person trying to control the divine feminine. Whoever this uh, spiritual charlatan is, they want to they want to control over you through intimacy. Whoever this is is being ignored. You left this person on red, unsent messages. This person has a behavior problem. Because they they the type that you only live once energy. They could have took a shot in the dark type of energy to cause you some obstacles. Thinking that they was too big to fail. But everything crumbled. 
everything backfiring on them now. We got it's not the right time. What's not the right time for the spirit, divine spirit? No, they getting a no. What's no? What's a no? Yeah, their glory days is over. They got a no from the universe. They peaked already. They can't copy your energy. They can't duplicate something. They can't get in. They peaked already. Yeah. But that you only live once. And literally, they're only going to live once. They're not even going to get a second chance or a triple chance. You are coming out of isolation. All right? They try to hurry up and do block you, but... You already out of isolation. <laughs> we got yellow. You only live once. Go after your dreams. You're about to go after your dreams. Yeah. And somebody got proof that these people are not emotionally intelligent. So you deserve the medal. You deserve to win this battle. Whatever battle this person had, go, you win. You deserve this because this person wasn't thinking smart. Wasn't thinking smart. Wasn't emotionally intelligent. They should have did something more constructive with their time around this Mercury retrograde, but they didn't. Emotionally intelligent in the reverse. Somebody's just hella petty and a fake spiritualist or some shit. Or just evil. Okay. Emotional in intelligence in the reverse. Yeah. You cleanse this person energy away. Like, okay. <laughs> Somebody done cleanse somebody out their damn energy. Like, go away. Yep. Yeah, because this person could have been bragging. Oh, no. This person was trying to cause you be like a weight to you. They was trying to give you extra baggage. And they got canceled. No longer existed. This person doesn't exist anymore. Yes, because you walked away from this person as a scratching post. And they feel like they're in too deep because they never peeped that they would be the ones heartbroken. Not you. So they somewhere fucking crying because they played they so. You cleansed your energy from this person. That was a gold digger. Blood sucker. Gold digger. Every, I told you. They are devastated. They are embarrassed and shocked. Everything is backfiring on this leech. Cannot make it up, y'all. That's cold-blooded. There he is. And they tried to betray you. Tried to compete with you. And you won. You have the upper hand over these fake-ass friends. Yeah. That thought that they was too big to fail. Or they was just so smart. Or something like that. And it's crazy because it pays to be nice. And authentic. You're just a good person. So don't fault yourself for some being a good person collective. You know, but everybody can't sit with you, so whoever these people are, okay, y'all. We got honeymoon. So yeah, so something was short lived here. Alright, short lived. Honeymoon phase attended somebody wedding, a starter wife, supportive through thick and thin. Somebody could be refusing to answer questions. A why the fuck they was so jealous and insecure. Alright. So somebody could be asking somebody, baby mom, like, why the fuck you do that? Or why are you so insecure? Yeah. So the third party could have been their child's mother. However, this is uh, that's extremely jealous or extremely whatever. And if this person had any way in your life where that was supposed to, they can thank this person for making sure that this person doesn't have any type of position in their in your life at all. So. They should just be happy with the choice they made. If they chose to get somebody pregnant and have a relationship with that person, then, hey, you know, yeah. Maybe they feel like a simp before choosing this person or what? Because this person literally was only using somebody to achieve something. And it's a no. Absolutely not. Yeah. We got cruel. And oppressive. This person was extra baggage. Exactly. That's why they got canceled. Yeah. They got canceled. They no longer exist. Bullied to the point of depression. So they got a baby. Somebody got a baby mom that is a monster. 
okay? And she is hella pissed because she wanted this person. It's like, it's like you being in their life, sweetheart, would have gave them too much cushion. And she like, no, sweetheart, let me finish tearing this person down to the ground, okay? And whatever's left over, y'all can have the scraps of this individual, but his ass is hers. That's how she feels because he she feels played. Yeah, she feels just she's jealous. She was everything in the world, but she like, no, I'm going to do something to let you know he's trying to betray you. <laughs> Boom, came through. And now she get to put all the skibbity paps on him, all of them. Okay, like he, there will be no savior for this person. Absolutely not. She's bullying this person to the point of depression. That's crazy, right? Yeah. They have a son together. So you would know if this is y'all story. Or a daughter. Okay, first one, the son. Confirmation. But she is no. Okay. Some people you just don't cross, you know. She canceled. Yeah. She's not going to be happy till this person is under the jail, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. This is the truth of this situation. So it ain't nothing personal to you. Because this person, you done cut ties with this individual and they got to have several seats. Um, Yeah, because they could have been even cyberbullying you. They could, somebody could be more low vibrational than them, child. Okay? Yeah, they put the material world before divine connection here. Somebody's extremely low vibrational. They're being exposed for bullying you. Maybe that's how you know, or this person was, you know, energetically telling you. Yeah, because she want revenge. So the third party could be their baby mama. And she want revenge on this person. So, if it meant by disconnecting you from this person to the point where y'all never ever will come back together again, so be it. But, yeah. Somebody won't stop, whoever this is, because she feels used. I don't know, y'all. You know, a woman scorned is something the fuck else, man. And then these people, somebody tried to curse you. They cursed themselves for trying to curse you. So your problems will be behind you. They're about to disappear out your world and out your life. It's time for y'all to heal and move on. This person got other issues going on. Wishing that they made a better choice in life. Somebody feel like the only choice they got is jail or hell. That's it. That's how somebody feels. So somebody got somebody very vindictive in their energy. Like this person thought they was being cold-blooded to you. They got a whole beast on their hand. And it says a female or something that they connected to. Yeah. I did a reading, um... Like, I think weeks ago or a week ago. And I was saying, like, he was sitting there like, yo, somebody was already in their feelings and they knew. Somebody already had, like, a, something about to happen energy or I just know that my baby mom going whatever. And he was already thinking, like, she never going to let me live my life. She never going to let me move on. She's never going to let me something like that. Like, she want to destroy him. Like... And ladies, like, I don't, listen, listen, <laughs> whatever people somebody do to y'all, don't, don't go that far. You know what I'm saying? Like, let karma, okay, but maybe this is their karma. Who knows? Because they was trying to do something to y'all. They was trying to you know, use you to get where they needed to go. So they got somebody that's just like them, but more intense or something. Now you're going to be able to peacefully heal your heart. <laughs> Meanwhile, somebody's going to continue to 
trashing somebody. Confirmation. Yeah. She ain't got no beef with you. It's him she want. She hate him, y'all. I don't know who this man is that was in y'all world. But baby, she even if she's smiling in his face, she hate this man. And behind the scenes, baby, she doing everything. And he felt as though, oh, I can run back to my divine feminine and get some healing energy and I'm going to be able to get to the places I need to go and da 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 Absolutely not. You already set roots with somebody else. So the universe not only did, is everybody was in, in agreement that they got to go from the universe to whatever else they got themselves into. I don't know. Right? They like, well, you know, you made your bed, you're lying it. Have a good life. Maybe next lifetime, maybe not. Who knows? But not right now. This person has karma to pay. And they can't hide in your shadows, Divine Feminine. They cannot hide in your bosoms, Divine Feminine. They got to take this ass looking like, like, they, like they wanted you to. Because previously, right? On ready to die energy. <laughs> like... This person previously, before they even got to this, wherever level that they are at on a spiritual sense, they was doing all types of dirt to you. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't show you the love nor respect that they, and they inadvertently kind of sort of in a huge way messed up their own contract with y'all and then tried to like double back or triple back. I don't know how this is going in y'all life. But they should have looked at you as a gift a way, 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 way long time ago. Not now. Not when they when they dealing with somebody that's giving them the skibbities. Okay? Not when they run into somebody just like them. Absolutely not. So, you will forever be missed for this person now. Because it's time for you to go. Well, you know, it is what it is. Sayonara, right? And it is, so it is, right, y'all? So somebody got to go. And they like, no, harvest in the reverse. You reap what you sow, buddy. <laughs> this is literally you reaping what you sow. This person is literally in real time, y'all, reaping what they sow. Okay. They wish they never did it. So, yeah. They got the water here. All right. Curse in the book, child. Lord, have mercy. Water and curse. No good came from that curse, man. It's all bad behind the scenes, y'all. Thank God that you don't see it. Yeah, harvest in a reverse. This could be a water sign or earth sign that reaping what they sow. What else? And they like, help me. They like, uh-uh, buddy. <laughs> you got to stick this shit out on your, your own because we told you not to fuck around with the fuck around. This is somebody that was trying to manipulate somebody. We got water, earth, and fire, y'all. The fire sign trying to help get help. The earth sign, but the earth sign is cursed by a water sign or something. <laughs> Everybody cursed right now. That's all they know. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but it's a huge trickle. I'm talking about when I talk when I'm telling y'all like trickle down, baby. Everybody is getting fucked up. Everybody involved. Tricksters and harvest in the reverse. Damn. <laughs> like, what? What, y'all? What the fudge? Everybody cursed at the same time. Like, what? And they can't even help each other. I know that's right. It says you reap what you sow. It says when in conflict, as you sow, so shall you reap. This person should have never came over here. With that energy, whatever they came to, when they came to y'all energy, they should have never came on no bullshit. Because you reap what you sow. When in conflict, let the habits have it like the habits have it. And it's having it. 
Oh, it's happening. They having a good old time. And somebody energy right now. This trickster. Hell yeah. Be mindful as you proceed. Okay? Yeah. This trickster need to be mindful as they proceed, y'all. When in conflict, as you so, 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 so shall you reap. Fire, fire, not a fire sign. It could be a fire sign, but something got set ablaze. Fire here. Yeah, a fire sign is... Mm, it could be a fire sign, an earth sign, and a water sign that's getting their ass whooped. You hear me? By somebody's spirit guides right now. And maybe even their own. Whatever curse they did, it is a horrible trickle-down effect. Fire. Yeah, let it all come down. They know this shit is gone. It's burnt to the ground. They can't even defend themselves. Whatever this is, help me. What? Help what? Nope. Stick this out on your own. That's what that helped me say. Stick it out on your own. They was trying to have faith that somebody could help them too. <laughs> oh my God. It says, stick it out on your own. Transformation is not always a bad thing. Earth. Jesus. Remember where you came from. Hmm. And we got curse. No good came from this curse. They're clear. No good is about to come from a curse. They're clear of this person or these people. Anybody around these people, stay away from them. Don't talk to them. They're cursed. This is bad. This is bad, y'all. Focus on your established routines. Jesus. I don't know. What the hell didn't happen to them? I don't know what the hell was that. Did they get tricked? Did they get manipulated? Did somebody like, uh-uh, what's the rules here when it comes to this curse that we did? What, 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 like, somebody trying to figure out what's going to happen now, harvest, like, for real, hell yeah, somebody trying to cord cut away from a trickster spirit, trying to find a cord cutting spell to get away from a trickster spirit or something like that, yo, that was trying to convince people that they was this and that, or this could be like that, that spiritual charlatan energy that is a scammer or something, <clears throat> It's like a tornado coming towards somebody. Stormy weathers. Okay, kind of energy. What's this harvest? As you sow, so shall you reap. Whoever these people is reaping what they sow that was envious of your career and your money you making, they all had blocked heart chakras. Damn. Maybe they tried to block your beauty, your heart chakra, and everything else. In meaningful relationships. So this is like people that was trying to block your love life, your happiness, your abundance. They all got together to do this. And they wonder why they so fucked up. Hmm. Envious of your career money. Like I said, this is somebody you would congratulate, but they would never to you. Envious of your career, money. When in social, you read. When in conflict, you read what you sow. You know what you sow. This person was making a lot of hate tweets towards you. Yeah, they was making a lot of hate tweets towards you. They was trying to turn other people against you. A dark entity that they were using to turn people against you, they know you protected from. Whatever entity that they was using, you're protected from. And you're protected from them trying to remote view you. They was trying to remote view you. An energy vampire. You're being protected from this person's. Wow. Scorn lover. You lost your appetite for them. 
or a sworn lover feel like they that they lost that you lost your appetite for them or something like that. Yeah, because you're being protected. <laughs> wow, heavily protected. Yeah, I told you. Return to sender. Your ancestors may have stepped in. This is like that divine intervention and cut somebody out your life. Seriously. Okay. And they are enraged. Whoever this person is, it like instantly, there was a blowout of violence behind the scenes, maybe. It was all just to protect you. Somebody put their hands on somebody, y'all. They might go to jail for really putting their hands on somebody. Okay? She going to be messed up. I think this is a terrible connection. Whoever they with, this is like sickening. You hear me? Because they know that she did something or they know it was her. It's like, even if it's their fault, they're going to blame it on somebody else kind of energy. Just let it, it's like burning up. Something is, is crashing and burning at this time. Let it all come down. You may be able to build something later. Let it all come down. Fire. Yeah, Mercury retrograde. A water sign is in the reverse. So, a fake spiritualist that was a copycat that was hating on your exercise routine is really caused them to have some sort of uh, mood swings. They hate your spiritual gifts. They know. Also, if you cut this person out, they know you cut them out your energy. They know it. You so fucking gifted, yo. Like, you don't got to go to a practitioner. You are the practitioner. That's what's like, fuck. So, it's kind of like doing something to somebody that is really gifted. You can't. And even if it was like. Uh, it's like the way you look already got them going all over the place. Mercury retrograde is exposing them for being a copycat and a fake spiritualist and how jealous they are of how you look and your exercise routine has really caused them to have some sort of mood swings. They hate your gifts because they wanted to steal your ideas or something like that. This was a competition they never was going to win, you know, and it's like embarrassment, the big yikes. Okay. Because clearly if they was as who they said they was, they'll be able to stay in your energy. Like somebody wanted to overpower you or what the fuck is going on with this individual? <laughs> it's like I'm feeling somebody ener energetically trying to fight you. And it's really making them emotional. Like they could have been, it's like ugly crying and <sighs> <laughs> like Jig, what's his name? Saul. <laughs> like that's the kind of energy this person has. It's so weird. Like it's like, oh, they hate you. Could be a water sign. <laughs> yeah, you made somebody extremely. They gonna have to deal with their insecurities. It's just that. That's it. Always trying to one up you. It's like leave, leave whoever the fuck you are alone. And we got to help me. They try and get friends to help them. Help them do what? Cause you to lose your appetite. Yeah. A hex, yeah. They try to get somebody to help them. But people don't fuck with somebody. Because they don't fuck with somebody enough. Because a hex is broken. This person can be waking up with um, having unexpected body whelps and bruises all over them. Uh, their significant other tiger's eye don't work no more. This person was your business rival. They trying to take a spiritual bath with a scorn lover because uh, it negative uh, air sign could have been sending negative energy to somebody to block your heart chakra. And now they're playing the victim. So somebody could have sent something to you to block your, it could be a Gemini of significance, strong Gemini energy. I'm picking up here. Somebody was trying, or this could be in their Venus as well. Don't get it. You know, this is somebody that's never satisfied or something like that. But whoever this is, they, uh, it's like they're having a meltdown behind the scenes. You're going to witness this person karma. Because it actually caused somebody to lose their appetite towards somebody. Yeah, because they like, why was you spreading all these rumors about whoever you are, making weird-ass posts and all this? 
all right spreading rumors about you it was a water sign that was trying to remote view you a water sign could have been spreading rumors about you sending you the negative energy or something like that and they're enraged they're pissed the fuck off because you cut them out your energy you blinded them and they are they are mad. What I told you, you blinded this person or you really protected yourself from this person and they like, rawr, energy. Like, what? It could be a masculine water sign. Yeah. They is mad that they can't recharge their energy now. Listen, you is not the uh, plug-in. <laughs> it's like somebody want to plug into you to recharge their energy. This water sign that was sending you negative energy is pissed that they can't recharge their energy off of you. They're angry. What? And meaning, aka, recharging their energy, I'm feeling like it has a lot to do with taking your energy so that they can live their life. You know, get money or I guess move around. I'm so sick of these energy vampires. Like, God. Despite if you're a really good source or supply for energy, despite all of that, who gives a fuck? Like, <sighs> they're very angry. Because uh, they can't recharge. They're not happy. This person is going through a lot of mood swings. Because you protected yourself from them. Ciao. Uh, what else? With the recharge and the energy in the reverse. Recharge and the energy in the reverse. They hate you. I'm telling you they hate you. Like, how did you cut me out? Because that's how they were stealing your energy. Like everything I just said, they hate your gifts. They hate your psychic gifts. They hate your spiritual gifts. They hate the fact that you are real high priestess. They hate this shit. <laughs> they hate you so much. And I'm like, no shade. I don't hate y'all, but this water sign cannot stand your fucking ass. And it's just that. Okay? Because they was trying to steal your ideas and pretend like they made them or steal something from you. Your energy, something, and act like they just, oh, oh, yeah, you know, I'm just being blessed. And they got all types of karma. <laughs> they not getting, you know. Yeah, you knew that this person was trying to do. We got the earth energy. Earth, and we got this person was talking behind your back. Now they trying to find uh, somebody to protect them. The person that was talking behind your back is trying to find somebody to protect them. Because they know they did some real messed up stuff here. Yep. Because they could be no longer going to be watching you at all. Because they did something impulsive out of rage. And they fucked themselves up. All types of wounds and scratches all over them. And they crying and shit. Trying to cleanse their energy. That was unexpected. Yeah. Unexpected body whelps and bruises. Because you are being aware of anybody from your past returning to your life. Because they are hexed and cursed. They all have low self-esteem and they wanted you. They are their own worst enemy, excuse me, for recruiting haters. They all, everybody that they recruited to do something bad to you all have money problems. It's like, why would you even get on board for the fuck ray? Right? And then it's weird because ain't nobody tell y'all to be coattail riding off of people that is liars and manipulators. You know what I'm saying? Why would y'all even ride the, the the bandwagon with people that it's just weird. This is the fake friends and all of this and everybody got money problems, but yet they want to blame you, divine being, for not a lot. It's like, how dare you not let me take your energy? How dare you? What? Yeah, no good came from that curse. Curse. Yeah, your business rival had a backfire. I cannot make it up. No good came from that curse. They cannot stand your grind or hustle. So return the sender to all involved, known or unknown. They just mad because you winning. That's it. And they mad because you ain't paying them no mind. The recruited haters with money problems. 
They was trying to alter your values and your morals and life decisions. And they had a backfire. And now they're going to have to deal with that. Meaning like, AKA, I feel like with that, re, uh, uh, trying to alter your morals and life decisions, you know that these people are your enemy, but yet they wanted you to uh, like heal them and help them. Fuck them. Okay. These are the same people that was talking crazy about you, but it's okay. Yeah. You cut these people off, but yet they still watch you. And they know you protected because every time they look at you, they have an unexpected freak accident. Every single time. They know you protected. Something crazy happens. So eventually they will be shutting their eyes and going the other way because they can't take too much of the smoke. It don't, it's not a quake, it's not adding up for them. It's, it's over for them. Them watching you will only cause them problems. They need to go head on with their life. They watching you because they had an unexpected free accident. Now they trying to take spiritual baths. Because your closest friends was holding a grudge against you just because you grew healing about this is like somebody graduating from college. And ain't nobody want to go to college, but they saying, Oh, you think you better than me? What? Because I chose to go to college and you chose to stand on the block? Okay. Huh? And they wanna they got the nerve like how does that even weigh? That doesn't even weigh anything on a spiritual level or anything. Like, they, these people are just the Lulu. That's the only way I can really think of this. There's no, absolutely no reason why they should be holding a grudge against y'all. Absolutely none. But they're going to play the victim because they're losing. They shouldn't have never tried to come up against you. They should have did more with their life. Everybody get the same 24 hours. And you're and not one hour or one second or minute is ever focused on hurting another person. So they already lost. And they have nobody but themselves to think for. They did this to themselves. You ain't got nothing to do with their downfalls. The fuck? People are strange. They need to take spiritual baths. All them people that was yapping about you and stuff like that they need to cleanse their energy or find somebody because they're they're hexed they're cursed okay and i don't know how else to even i don't know how else to even you know what i mean especially this water sign like i don't know how else to even cut it and whoever else was involved there Water, fire, and earth is here. They done cursed themselves and want to blame you. It's like, you think you somebody, you lost 10 pounds. Huh, who cares? Or it's like, you eat healthy and you lost weight and you're doing really good. You're, you look and you're glowing and they're just eating chicken nuggets and french fries all day. And they got, they all bent out of shape and just all whatever, and they keep doing beauty spells on you, and it's backfiring on them, and they stuff in their throats with large amounts of food that, that surpass their own body mass. But yet they blaming you for all of the things that they're doing, trying to do to you. That's weird to me. Trying to block your money, and they can't get a job. Trying to do this, and trying to dominate you. Trying to do this, and trying to do that. Every single plan backfires. These people will never be able to uh, attach anything to you, get close to you, or any of that. So if somebody at around this time, y'all, start just leaving y'all life, let them, okay? Or somebody, because uh, this is like uh, masculine or I'm getting a strong male, male energy here. But they're very bitter men. I've never seen men this bitter in my life. This is crazy. They're very childish or something. They need to take spiritual baths. The energy vampire is in the reverse. When I tell you this energy vampire has fucked up, I don't know what they did to themselves, baby. But they no longer will have your emotional support nor attention at all. Like I said, these is the people you were supporting. Like, no shade. And I know you just a good person, but... This is who you is supporting. And they all curse now. Crying and shit. 
Uh, water. What about the water? Yep. <laughs> I told you. <sighs> so we got your ancestors and your spirit guides got your back for anybody that was your close friend that's holding a grudge against you because you grew. Get the fuck out of here. They have been cut. When I'm talking about chomp, chomp, big cords, anybody, even if you didn't do a cord cutting spell, your ancestors came through and just tossed them out. That's just that. They had to go. Yeah, because they was trying to cause chaos and fights in your love life or any connections. They got to go. Just because they holding a grudge against you, they got to go. Somebody got to go. And even if this is a family member, they have to go. You might not hear from somebody or something might change on an activity with somebody because they got to go. It's like being around you is it's bad for them. Okay? It's something like that going on. These people trying to cause chaos and fights in your love life need to stay away from toxicity because it's only going to get worse. But what's the first thing that they go to when they stress is getting high, drinking, and just being toxic. That's all they know. Their social media posts, the people that was posting something online about you, it was towards you. They better be careful now. Yeah, because they just can't stand to see you shine, whatever. They're jealous of you. Cares. They need to be careful. Yeah. They are their own worst enemy. They shouldn't have never did what they did. Try to alter your morals and your values and life decisions just because they're jealous of you. Start mocking you when they're jealous towards you. Okay, well, that backfire ain't sitting well for them. So, this energy vampire has been severed. Cut, cut, snip, snip. <laughs> All types of shit out y'all energy. Banished to the umpteenth power. The universe is like, uh-uh. They gotta go. And it's like, you reap what you sow. Whatever this person, they was in conflict with you, so they're getting conflict. So I don't know who this young lady is. They might have that entity attached to them. That's why something was so short-lived. Because they have an entity attached to them that they tried to turn people against my collective. But now this entity is turning these people against each other. This is some weird ass... This is this this is like some infighting we don't got nothing to do with. But for some of y'all, y'all gonna witness some people karma here though. You're gonna witness something here. <clears throat> Shit crazy, y'all. They crazy for real. <clears throat> Yeah, see, I told you. I said that air sign. I felt it. It was a Gemini. I don't know if this is a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I don't know, but they created a mess. I was hoping somebody could help them fix it. K, okay. first, last, middle, initial, yours are there. Maybe that's the one that did the, maybe that's the one that did, because they could have lost a job if they worked in the medical field in any way. They really are so sorry now for the pain they caused you. Or somebody's not going to get the job in the medical field or they losing that job. Whatever this is, it's like they created a mess. Everything is just crumbling. Okay. Shit crazy for real. A Jehovah's Witness. Tuesday. All right. Ex-lover. Maybe your ex-lover is with a crooked boss or a co-worker. They lost. I'm telling you, yo. These people about to lose everything for even coming for you. Sunday. What the? Somebody has a dark attachment to them. Sunday. Whatever that entity was, man. Listen, Tuesday. Queen Patty, whoever she. I, what I said. The lady. I don't know who that lady. She got this entity attached to her that's fucking everybody up, y'all. But it's like whatever entity they summoned to turn people against you, it's attached to them now. For them being Queen Petty, they mad as fuck. This warfare is over with somebody. Baby mom, they lost everything. Somebody baby mom lost everything. If she worked in the medical field, wherever, it's gone. They will no longer be stalking you. What did I tell you? Divine intervention. Man. Capricorn. They're done. They like hands up. This Capricorn gonna see you move past all the obstacles they put up. They're done. They're tapping out. 
We're going the other way. This person could be a part of a secret society organization or a coven. Like I said, this wherever they is, some dark shit. Whatever this is. Okay. H. First, last, middle, initial. Yours or theirs. <sighs> Libra. Love always wins. God is so proud of you. Uh, for how brave and strong you have became. You are very loved. Love always wins. So if you're reading this, it's too late, M. Somebody moon sign, Scorpio. Because somebody moon sign is Scorpio. I don't know. Maybe that's why something is too late. But, oh, yeah. Because if uh, that's, that's the hidden qualities of somebody that's talented or gifted or something like that. But Or somebody could be a Scorpio sign, whatever. But it's too late. If you're reading this, it's too late. They all regret going against you for some chump change. I don't know what they had got out of this, but they ain't get shit. P was being King Petty with an Aries. That attempted robbery backfired. If they tried to rob you, somebody knew they would rather be with you, whoever you are. You could be a woman practitioner, but clearly, because you cleared, you done psh, everybody away. <laughs> They seen you going through a body transformation, getting fit. Somebody ex friends. This could be a bro B. Somebody could be a Hebrew Israelite. Somebody seen how you're healed. They bro, whoever this Hebrew Israelite, whatever that is, a woman practitioner, whoever these people are. Okay, y'all, that scene, you going through a body transplant. Whoever these people are, however this resonates for y'all, they all curse themselves for trying to curse you. W. They should have left that shit alone. Yeah. They know you know because you could have protected yourself or you blocked your energy off. Something like that. <laughs> they lied to you. They lied to them about everything about you. Man, anybody that came up against you, they lied. Yeah, they didn't tell them the truth about who you was, what you stood for, or none of that. Could be a Taurus and a Sagittarius. Could be an Islamic man or a woman and a Hispanic man or a woman. A week ago, he didn't want to walk away from what he was doing. So, okay, so yeah, it is directly uh, Mercury retrograde starts now. Okay, um, and like we already we out the pre shadows, we fully in submerged in Mercury retrograde. So anything that happened at this point, be careful out here, okay? Because this is not it. So they like, oh, that's why. Maybe these people don't know certain shit. I don't know what the fuck they was doing, honey. I don't know what's up with these people. These coworkers here. They about to ghost you. Somebody co-worker about to ghost somebody Monday. They can have a silver tan, brown, burgundy, purple, gold, turquoise, or a white car. That's Catholic. They're done. This man or woman was a chef. Somebody's done. They don't in the summertime. No good came from that hex or curse that they did. It backfired on them. An energy vampire could be about to have a freak accident. That's what was in there that they can't heal from because of what they tried to do to you. Whoever this crooked landlord with a corrupt heart lost everything. Everybody getting fucked up and people are blocking each other because they like, look, you just going to have to let it all burn down and, you know, fend for yourself because ain't nothing we can do. Somebody dad dropping out and a daughter and a grandma. Pisces, A. Hey. They are terrified of y'all for real in real life now. Mm -hmm. Somebody is really scared right now. She is not mad. Okay, or she don't want to be mad no more. Somebody, they want to talk to you now about something because they like, look, I don't... Because of something that's happening, I hear that wind howling. I don't know what you did to protect yourself, but it was it was real bad on these people. Just by you, okay, so what okay, you didn't okay. You protecting yourself, really, whatever hex or curse this was, it was real bad. It was like entities and all types of dark shit attached to something real dark. 
and everybody is like on them and somebody like, look, I just want to clear my name or I want to say something about how the people from your past don't like the new you and how strong you became. And it's like somebody want to just like sp put it out there confirmation because they don't want whatever is happening to them. They about to expose everybody. Somebody feel like if I tell if I tell you everything, then my burdens will be lighter. That's how they feel. Yeah, this could be their ex. What somebody was doing every day. Because something somebody could be losing something every single day. Like, motherfuckers about to be sleeping in a car. Like, seriously. This is crazy, y'all. What the... What kind of curse did they do? What kind of curse? I don't... I'm going to start making cards, like, to, like, be specific with the curses. Like, what kind of curse was that? Because, baby, god damn. Well, one of them was a beauty spell. And it's backfiring on them. I told you, I already seen that. Somebody is getting big as a house. Like, um, whatever. What else? This could be a Leo and a Virgo. They are no longer stalking you. They're no longer doing love or lust spells at all. Because they don't have absolutely no protection. Whew. Somebody want to know how you did that? A niece? Two weeks ago. Everything is backfiring on them and everybody they worked with. Look at all these people. Jay. Something about these are somebody's sun signs. Somebody jealous of y'all. So one of these signs is somebody's sun sign, moon sign, or sun sign. Okay? And they going through it. When I say through it, maybe your energy was the protection. This is what I'm starting to think because why would they be getting these bad backfires like that? Because if you think about it, they didn't have protection from something. Whatever they did to you, they didn't have any protection at all. But they thought they did. You was the protection. If you would have stayed in the energy, they would have been able to swap energies or something as well. Look. I hope this helped, you know, you're good, divine beings that's of the high, you know, those that are high vibrational, but I feel sorry for these other people because they not going to make it. This is going to be a bad week for them.